Let's see a visual construction that leads to an interesting integration technique. Suppose you wanted to integrate the function 1 over 1 plus sine x plus cosine x with respect to x. How would you go about doing this? Which technique would you apply? Let's check out a visual representation of a non-standard integration technique. We let z be the tangent of x over 2. This means there exists a right triangle with sides of length 1 and z, and the angle opposite to z is x over 2. According to the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse on this triangle is the square root of 1 plus z squared. We can take a copy of this triangle, scale by the value z, and rotate 90 degrees, then place these two triangles next to each other where the complementary angles meet. This new triangle has side length z and z squared and a hypotenuse of length z times the square root of 1 plus z squared. Because we placed these two triangles next to each other at complementary angles, the void between them forms a right angle, or a 90 degree angle. Thus when we connect the two opposite vertices of these two triangles together like this, we form another right triangle, and by the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse of this triangle is 1 plus z squared. Amazingly, this new triangle formed inside is similar to the original triangle, as we can see that it is simply scaled by the value square root of 1 plus z squared. So this triangle also has an angle of x over 2. Using this trapezoid diagram, we drop a perpendicular like this to form a new triangle. This new triangle has a base given by the length of 1 minus z squared, and has a height given by 2z. This right triangle also has another angle with a measure of x over 2 plus x over 2, which is x. From this new triangle, we see that the sine of x is 2z divided by 1 plus z squared, and cosine of x is 1 minus z squared divided by 1 plus z squared. Using the fact that z equals the tangent of x over 2, we have that x equals 2 times the arc tangent of z, Differentiating this expression tells us that dx equals 2 divided by 1 plus z squared dz. Using the substitution z equals tangent of x over 2 with these properties is called the Weierstrass substitution, or sometimes universal trig substitution, or sometimes the tangent half angle substitution. It can be used in a variety of situations when you're not sure how to perform a particular integral. Let's see this in action in a couple of examples. Suppose we wanted to find the integral of cosecant x dx, not using the standard technique. We can remember that the cosecant of x is 1 divided by the sine of x. Then when we apply the Weierstrass substitution, we get that this is equal to the integral of 1 plus z squared over 2z times 2 over 1 plus z squared dz. Notice we replaced sine x with 2z over 1 plus z squared, and we replaced dx with 2 over 1 plus z squared dz. But then the 2's cancel in the numerator and the denominator, and the 1 plus z squared cancels in the numerator and denominator, and we're left with the integral of 1 over z dz. But this is just the natural log of the absolute value of z plus a constant c. Remembering that z equals the tangent of x over 2, we see that the integral of cosecant x dx is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of tangent of x over 2 plus a constant c. Let's revisit the integral from the introduction and see if it works here. Remember that we want to integrate the function 1 over 1 plus sine x plus cosine x dx. We can replace sine x with 2z over 1 plus z squared, cosine x with 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared, and we can replace dx with 2 divided by 1 plus z squared dz. When we multiply these two fractions, the 1 plus z squared in the denominator cancels a lot of the terms, so that we're left with the integral of 2 divided by 1 plus z squared plus 2z plus 1 minus z squared. Here, the z squared and the minus z squared add to 0, so we're left with the integral of 2 over 2 plus 2z dz, and the 2's cancel to leave me with the integral of 1 over 1 plus z dz. But this is the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus z plus a constant, and when we remember that z is the tangent of x over 2, we get that the integral that we wanted is the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus the tangent of x over 2 plus c. It's amazing that the Weierstrass substitution, which we can remember using a triangular diagram, helped us integrate this function. Can you think of other integrals that might allow the Weierstrass substitution? Are you going to add this technique to the list of tools you can use when integrating functions? Let me know in the comments if you've ever used this technique before, or give examples of functions that people could try to use this on. Thanks for watching, and check my calculus playlist for other visual proofs related to calculus.